So um, I am going to talk about naturopathic medicine, the healthcare model, how it works in some of its therapies. Uh, my name is Dr. Megan Lavon. I'm a naturopathic doctor. Um, let me put this down. So I know what my time is doing here. Got my clicker. Okay. But first, a little bit about me. Um, so I always wanted to be a doctor, you know, ever since I was little. Uh, we were originally from France. We moved here when I was little. Um, and then, actually, so all of my training was always to go into medicine. Um, but then, actually, right as I was leaving to go to medical school, uh, I was actually going to attend uh, in Cuba. And before, I just started having these symptoms where I would just kind of blow up. You know, my hands would just swell up during the night, and then I would wake up with my hands swollen. I ignored it, which is a lesson. Never ignore symptoms. It's not always going to be as bad as you think it is, but um, it's not a good idea to ignore in general. And in the end, um, in that situation, it actually did come out, turn out to be something life-threatening. I was hospitalized for um, close to a month in Cuba, uh, where they were just trying to stabilize me. And then uh, after that, you know, I came back to the States and they were saying how, you know, these is, this is the therapy and the treatments for this illness that you've had, you know, it's not acute, meaning it's not short term, it's a long lasting, basically there's no cure is what they told me. And, um, and uh, by the way, all of the side of the medications that you need to take, just one medication is going to potentially cause osteoporosis where, you know, your bones are really weak and brittle. Um, you know, weight gain, 50 pounds or more in a very quick amount of time, um, you know, a slow down your immune system you, so you can die of a cold kind of thing. Just all these side effects just really seem like they were worse than the actual illness was at that point. Um, you know, again, hair loss and I was like, so what you're saying is I'm essentially going to be a really, really heavy, bald, 24-year-old at the time. So, um, sickly, too. Uh, so then that's when I, you know, I remember talking to my dad and he was like, hey Megan, there's man's way and there's God's way. And whatever you decide you want to do, you know, it's your decision, but we'll support you. And so we've been looking for more, you know, natural um, ways to help the body to restore health to itself, as we already know as Christians that it can do, because God has given you that ability, you know, like when you see a cut on your hand. So I went through this natural, just 30 day intensive, intensive healing therapies program. Whereas afterwards I went back and I redid all of my biopsies here in the States. I've done them there as well. All of the different therapies, doing all of the lab work, everything. And it showed it had stopped the progression of the illness. So I was like, wow, this is fantastic. So, and then after that, like I said, I just wanted to continue learning, learning, learning. Um, and so I ended up going to a four year naturopathic medical school where we learn, again, not just conventional medicine, drugs, and surgery, which we can do that, but also all the natural ways that the body can heal, which you'll see about in, in a minute. All right, so that's a little about me. And then I came up with a system that kind of helps other people like you. So here it is, naturopathic medicine, though, 101. All right, what do you see here, first of all? Quickly, what's, what's drawing your eye in this picture? Right, ding, ding, ding. The waterfall is the highlight of this picture. There's a mountain there, and uh, you can imagine it's pristine, right? At the top of the mountain, fresh air, birds are flying around, do, do, do. Right, all right. Here, three fourths from the top, you can see that the water is moving, and it's really green in and around here. Look how green it is there, all righty. And then as we get halfway down the river, right, the water is slowing down. You can only really see white water here, but now it's slowing down. As it gets near the bottom, this is looking pretty stagnant, right? It's green. You can tell it's not really moving. Look along the sides here. Can you see the red, by the way? The red dot moving? Mm -hmm. um, you can see that it's pretty much slowed down. And here at the end of the river, well, using a river, that would be using a loose term. There's maybe two drops of water right there. And as you can see here, everything is brown. So again, this is just a, de a, a depiction of how we all enter life. We all enter in life healthy at the top of that mountain, clean and pristine. Unless we're born with an illness, which we call congenital, when you're born with something that just whams you, 
right from birth. You know, either you die in utero or you die very young or it hampers you so much that you're not able. Most of us are born that way, but then as we go through life, down the river of life, we get pushed by toxins and by births and deaths and marriages and divorces and physical injuries and mental and emotional stuff that drags us down the river and we end up somewhere near the bottom. Right? So this is kind of just what happens to us. So types of illness, again, we're okay with short-term illness, so colds, flus, and things, that's fine. We're not okay with illnesses that last weeks and weeks and weeks and months and years, you know, what we call chronic or long-term, like diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer. You keep hearing us mention those because that's what's more prevalent in American society or Western, even. So how do we even get these long-term illnesses, you might ask yourself. Um, it's from violation of nature's Laws. Now, I call them nature's laws because, as you know, in medicine, uh, we're not really allowed to espouse any kind of specific religion unless the patient says that I'm a Christian or I'm a, you know, and if they say they're an atheist or if they say they follow Islam or whatever it is. But by and large, we are supposed to, as practitioners, keep it out of the conversation. So I call it nature's mind health laws. But when I'm amongst Christians, I can say God's laws of health, right? Amen? amen. Yes, amen. So, uh, okay, so nature's nine health laws are violated, not good. Uh, so then, how does naturopathic work to help with this, naturopathic medicine? Um, so I have a question for you. If this room became dark, this very room, imagine this room was just pitch black, like this picture, what would we do to lighten the room up? Quick. I see a light there, he's got a pen light. We could use a pen light, what else? She's like, the, turn the, the light switch on, good. Any other answers? Go outside, all right, anything else? Open the door, maybe the door, exactly. So what I love about your answers, all of them were right, ding, 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 ding. All of them were right. What I love about that is that you said you would add light. None of you said, we'll just take out all the darkness. Let's just gather all the darkness and take it out and put it all in the bucket. No, because why? Because where there's darkness, all you can do is add light, right? You cannot remove darkness. It's the same thing in health. You can't cut it out. You can't burn it off. You can't radiate it out. When someone is sick, it means the environment in their body has become such that all you can do now is find ways to add health. And that's what we do in naturopathic medicine. We use all these different therapies to add health. Does that make sense? Okay, good. By the way, I like interaction. So if I say it makes sense, if I ask you, does it make sense, you'll reply with, yes, that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, shake your head and say, no, it doesn't make sense. And then I'll explain better. Sound good? Great. Okay, so here's the six principles of naturopathic medicine specifically. First, the healing power of nature. So we know that's given to us, again, as Christians by God, meaning the body can restore health to itself. Like I said, if you've ever gotten a paper cut on your hand, just a tiny little cut, okay? I'm not saying if you got stabbed by a knife, a big knife, um, but a little paper cut, it closes back up, right? So sometimes you wouldn't even know you had cut yourself, and as you're putting on lotion or washing your hand or whatever, you see that cut is already closed up, right? How did it do that? Well, God gave it the ability to restore health to itself, right? The same way you can do it with any illness, right? So then you're thinking, well, if it can do that with my finger paper cut, why doesn't it do it with diabetes, high blood pressure, and cancer? Well, the answer is simple, that the body can get overwhelmed, right? So again, the bigger the injury, as it's trying to repair, if something stops it from repairing, it's not going to be able to do it. So that's why, going to our next principle then, we're going to have to identify and remove the cause or causes if there's more than one, right? So again, that's when we come, we talked about toxins. Maybe it was a whole lifetime of grilling on the fire or the barbecue. Maybe it was not ever drinking any water or staying up all night, you know, studying or preparing the proposals for your job or whatever, you know, breaking the health or guidelines, guidelines sorry, or laws. All right, while we're doing this, we're considering the whole person. Everybody has a mind, body, and a spirit. So even if you do have high blood pressure, which is you know conventionally thought of as a heart problem, it's not a heart problem because that blood is pumping everywhere to the body. So that's a body problem, 
Right. Okay, so we got to look at the whole person. Remember that everyone is unique. So the reason that you might have high blood pressure is not going to be the same reason she might have high blood pressure. And so we've got to treat everyone as an individual. In naturopathic medicine, again, we are, this is standard in any, in, in medicine, period. This is a Hippocratic oath to not do any harm to the patient. Okay? Uh, doctors, teachers, important in naturopathic medicine, teaching you how to get back in tune with nature's nine health laws. Right? And a law is a law, just like the law of gravity. What does it say? What goes up? must come down. You can have an airplane that we maybe have used engines and put gasoline and stuff in it, right? So we can prolong it. But if that engine goes out or we run out of gas, it's not is the plane coming down, it's when. Exactly. Right? Same thing. Okay? You break one, you break all. Just like the command, Ten Commandments. Right? All right. Prevention, best medicine. All right, and here they are, in case people didn't really know what they are. Deep breathing, so I did list them in, in order of importance, right? Deep breathing or, or breathing fresh air. Why? Because if you hold your breath for about three minutes or so, or if someone's holding it for you, right, like, then you're going to pass out, and you're probably going to die pretty shortly after. Water is next. You can only go a few days without water. Um, in a temperate climate, in some place like a desert or something, it's going to be hours and even maybe not even hours. If it's really hot. Nutrition is next, a couple of weeks without eating anything. Sleep, there are some rare diseases where people actually um, do not sleep at all, not one wink at all, and they will die just from lack of sleep. Usually takes a couple of weeks to months, but they will die. So again, we've got movement, also known as exercise, uh, grounding, time outside in sunshine and nature. Uh, mind and spirit, so positive mindset, again, uh, spirituality, purpose, reason to get up and do things, fun, enjoy life. All right, here's some of the natural therapies that we use in naturopathic medicine. Again, remember, we study both drugs and surgery and traditional medicine as well as a bunch of different natural therapies. So we spend more emphasis on our natural therapies which help the body to restore health and don't cause side effects. So here we've got nutrition. It's a big one. It's not the only thing, like I said. So don't turn it into the only thing. Uh, but it is a big one. You are what you eat is very true, uh, very important. However, we have all of these other things as well. We have using plants as medicine, what we call botanical medicine, using homeopathy. We're going to go through all these, so I'll come back. Traditional Chinese medicine, physical medicine, mind-body medicine, and environmental medicine. And of course, there are many, many more using aroma music, light, color, and even animal therapies to all bring about healing in the body. So naturopathy, doctor, what is that nature or what? That's usually what people say to me. So what's your training again? We studied for four years, okay? It is medical school, like a conventional medical doctor will study. So here's all these classes. I'm not gonna read it to you, but it's all this. Basic in class, all this stuff, all right? Then over here, that's the first two years. The second two years is then we start clinical rotation. So everything that ends in ology, that means it's a specialty. So rheumatology, joints and stuff, nephrology, spring, you know, et cetera. And then interspersed with all those things are then the healing therapies that we already are gonna go through. Uh, and then we have to take the standardized testing. There's two different standardized tests and then become licensed, okay? Here are some states where they license naturopathic doctors. Uh, 17 only, sorry, 19 right now, but we're working on that as people become more aware. Uh, state of Georgia doesn't recognize yet naturopathic physicians, so again, we're working on that, but we can still help you in a billion different ways. Um, what's nice about when you are not dictated to by um, the conventional medicine standards is that you can actually spend the amount of time that you need to spend with the person to get down to the bottom of their problem, right? Because if the insurance company is paying your doctor and they say, you should be able to figure out that problem in 15 minutes, the doctor can't go over 15 minutes. They've got to figure it out. And whether they've really figured it out or not, they're not going to necessarily tell you, not because they want to lie to you, but because that's how the system tells them you have to operate. And your mechanic usually has more time to spend on your car than your doctor has to figure out why your liver's not working, right? So remember that. So what's a visit like again? It's the same thing. You fill out forms and you might or may not do a physical exam. There's going to be lab work, collection of things, 
Except again, ours typically are longer. So contrary to like a you know 10 minute, 15 minute first visit at a conventional office, most naturopathic physicians, since we're trying to get down to the bottom of your problem and help you to restore health to your body, it's going to be something more around this. Three hours first visit, okay, and then follow up an hour. All right, here's some myths though uh, that we hate medical doctors. Not true. There are colleagues. Anyone that goes into medicine in any capacity, whether they're a nurse or whatever, they're going and using because they really, really love people. They want to help. And remember, they're working with people at their at the stage of the game where they're the sickest, so they're usually, you know, not easy to work with people. Like that. So we love them. People often think we never want to use drugs or surgery. I tell people that I am not against drugs and sur all drugs, all surgery, all the time. I'm against most drugs, most surgery, most of the time. Okay, if we can rehabilitate, then that's our that's what we try to do. That we're healers and can cure anything. No, healing comes from God. Okay, and also that we're all again. We've been talking about this: vegan or vegetarian or eat everything organic. Again, no, also not true. Diet is individual. Okay, that our visits or treatments are super duper expensive. Well. Again, most of them are not covered by insurance, so yes, there is an expense. However, your average hospital stay, depending on what you're going there for, especially if you have a stroke or heart attack, is going to start at least at 50 grand and go higher from there. So compared to that, no, it's not too expensive, <laughs> right? And you're helping your body to heal. Uh, and that we've all trained the same way, no, also not true. Uh, some people may just go to school for three weeks online and can still call themselves a naturopathic doctor. And other people, again, have trained like me. Four years standard medicine. That's four years standard plus the two years of natural therapies. All right? And here are the only schools that exist in the United States.